Hey guys! In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a smooth hover effect using CSS3. So let's get started. We're going to set up the usual metadata found within the head element. The common metadata tags include the title, description, browser compatibility, and file links. Don't forget to link the styles.css file in the index.html. Here is the line of code you would use to do that. Now that we've set everything up, let's get started. First, create a simple set of links using the unordered list tag and the list tag. We will be removing the closing list tag. This will ensure that there will be no white space between the links when we style it with CSS. Since these will be links, we will then use the A tag. For now, let's put the hashtag symbol, or pound symbol, since we're not using an actual address. See? That was super easy. We're done with the HTML. Just to give you an idea of what the HTML looks like, click on the Live Preview button in brackets. Now it's time we move on to the CSS. First, we'll style the body element by selecting body. We'll make several declarations including the width of the page, which is 960 pixels, the margin to zero auto, which will center the page in the browser. We'll also use Arial as the main font for the entire page. 16 pixels is the standard size font for most web browsers. We'll also set the padding all around the site to 20 pixels. Take a look at the live preview box below to see all of the changes. Next, we're going to select the unordered list element and style it by making the background color a nice blue. We'll set the list style type to none to remove the bullets. We'll also set margin and padding to zero. That way we'll remove the default set by the browser. To style each list item, we'll set display to inline block. That way the list is horizontal. Remember when we were coding in HTML, we added the A tag to make each list item a link? Well now we'll be styling it to add the smooth hover transition effect using CSS3. First, we'll set the display to block. Then, we're going to set the color of the text to white and set the text decoration to none. This is going to remove the link's default underline. We want the links to have a nice padding around them, so we'll make the padding 20 pixels. We want to use the transition property and set the value to 5 seconds. This means that there will be a 5 second delay from when the color changes to gray when we hover the mouse over each link. As you can see, the OMS, MLD, and WebKit simply specify the browsers that support this property. Lastly, we want to use the Suedo class hover. This tells the browser that when the mouse hovers over the link, the background color of the link will turn gray. That's it! You've made your own cool hover effect with CSS3. Use this effect and apply it to any of your projects. Subscribe to ExoPixel for more tutorials and DIYs. Don't forget to check out our blog, exopixel.com.